Issue 2A, the elevator starts brusquely. There are three possible anomalies that can cause uh, the brusque start. The first possible root cause uh, is a screw number 7, that is the screw for acceleration. The second possible cause uh, is uh, the starting spool in up direction. The third possible cause uh, is the screw number 8. Let's start with the screw number 7. Close the ball valve, start the motor and at the same time look at the pressure gauge. If the needle moves in a smooth way, the regulation number 7 is properly set. If the manometer is oscillating, then the screw number 7 is too open. Let's see how it behaves. Let's start the motor. In this case, the fluctuation of the manometer is very, very fast. This is indicating that the screw number 7 is too open. Completely close screw number 7. Push the manual lowering valve. Start the motor and at the same time begin opening screw number 7. Keep on slowly opening regulation number 7 until you see the needle of the manometer will start moving. If the needle of the pressure gauge is now moving slowly, it means that the starting is now ok. We can now repeat the operation by zeroing the pressure inside the distributor block and commanding an up direction movement. The manometer is increasing the pressure very slowly, so it's ok. The cabin is now starting very smoothly. Repair steps R5A, spring 0512. Spring 0512 is placed under the block of screw number 5. Close the ball valve. Push the manual descent button for lowering the pressure. Unscrew the four screws of the cap. Remove the cap. And make sure not to lose any gaskets. Take now one of the four screws. Remove the spool of the starting. And verify that the spring 0512 is not broken. If it is broken, replace the spring. Inside the space, verify that there are no small pieces of the spring. Check if there is any dirt. Take the spool and verify that the surface is clean and smooth. Put back the spool and verify that it is running up and down. Check also that the spring is working. Remove the screw and assemble the plate back. Open the ball valve and make a start in the up direction to see if everything is ok now. If it is necessary, repeat the setting of uh, screw number 7. Repair sequence R6A. Verification of screw number 8. Screw number 8 is a preset in factory based on the minimum static pressure. If, uh, for example, uh, the communicated minimum static pressure is uh, 20 bar, the regulation number 8 uh, must be set at 18 bars, that is, 2 bar less than the minimum static pressure. Close the ball valve. Push the manual lowering valve. If the star delta electro valve is present, remove the coil. If the third electrovalve is not present, 
then you must open regulation number 5 in order to prevent the distributor block to go in over pressure mode. Do not modify the setting of the nut in order not to lose the preset height of this regulation screw. Completely open screw number 5 and close it by three complete revolutions. We now perform a travel in up direction and we see the behavior of the manometer. We see 20 bars. If the minimum static pressure is 20 bars, it means that the screw number 8 is a little bit too closed. Open screw number 8 by half a revolution. Push the manual lowering valve and perform a travel in up direction. It is now 16 bars. We have now to close screw number 8 until we reach 18 bars, 2 bars less than the minimum static pressure. We have reached 18 bars. It is perfect now. We stop the motor. We block the nut of screw number 8. Push the manual lowering valve and repeat the test to see if everything is okay now. 18 bars as expected. Restore screw number 5 uh, as in original. When the locking nut uh, is uh, touching the plate, uh, we block everything. Put the coil of the star delta valve back. Open the ball valve and perform a travel in up direction to see if everything is okay.